Hello, my name is Patricia. I'm a teacher and I'm an associate of Peacemakers Trust. Most of the time, you'll see my hands and sometimes you'll see my friend Buster the Beaver who lives at my house. Have a peaceful day. Okay, let's get busy. Today, you'll need a couple of pieces of paper, a pencil, you might need an eraser, and some pencil crayons or crayons or whatever you like to color with. Now, today, I'm going to show you how to draw a person. A lot of people draw stick figures like this, but I think they look unfinished and they don't have any body and they certainly don't have any clothes. And what we're going to do, what I'm going to show you to do is how to draw people using shapes. So one of the shapes we'll use is a circle. So let's just practice a few circles. You're going to need some rectangles, some regular size rectangles, some long skinny rectangles, um, maybe a short little square, that's a kind of a rectangle. So let's draw some rectangles. We're going to do some slanty lines or diagonal lines. So draw a line, put your finger down and then draw another line beside it. Finish them off like that. So let's do a couple of those kind. We'll just fill up the paper with practicing. Do slanty lines the other way. Ooh, I almost forgot. We're also going to need some ovals. And most of the ovals that we'll be doing are sideways ovals. So just do some, um, they're kind of like flat circles. So we'll just draw some flat ovals like that. Draw some circles and some small squares, some more rectangles. Fill up your paper and make it look really beautiful. This is a really interesting piece of art, don't you think? Rectangles, slanty line rectangles. Ooh, look, there's a little square inside there or a diamond. Some circles, some ovals. Maybe that's something you want to color later. Oh, I almost forgot. Squiggly lines like this. That's what our hands are going to look like. So we'll do some squiggles. Just practice some squiggles in there. Okay, now that we've practiced our shapes, let's get to our drawing our pictures. Now, what you're going to use, what you're going to draw first is your head. And you can make an oval, an oval or a circle. I like to use a circle for mine. And if it's not a perfect circle, that's okay. Now at the bottom, right down at the bottom of the circle, you're going to draw a small square. That's going to be your neck. And then we'll do a rectangle body. Now the rectangle body can't be too big, it can't be too small. So about that size that I drew with my finger. And sometimes I like to draw things with my finger before I draw them with a the pencil so that I get an idea of where I'm going to put my pencil. Now, there we go, there's my body there. Now, in this picture that I drew of the stick person, you'll see that the arms came right out of the middle. But if you really look at your body, your arms don't come out of the middle. Your arms kind of start at your shoulder. So we'll draw a slanty line down from the shoulder. We'll do this side first. And remember how I put the finger in there before and drew beside it? That's a really good way of making sure that you have a long, a, a, an arm that has some body to it. We'll go a slanty line on the other side. Make sure that it's nice and wide. Finish it off, there's your sleeves there. Put those squiggly lines, remember those squiggly lines we practiced? Those are our hands. Now let's put a belt on. It can be a skinny belt or a wide belt. You can color it in or not, it's up to you. And then add one of your, the side of your leg. So we'll put the side of the leg all the way down. Remember that your legs are really long. They need to be longer than your body. See it on this one? The legs look kind of silly because they're shorter than the body. Now, when you look at your legs, your legs don't start right by your, the, the middle of your legs isn't right by your belt, but a little bit further down. So we'll draw a line down there, finish it off. We'll draw another straight line down for the outside of your leg. And where that other piece was, that other point was, put a line down there like that. Now, remember those little ovals that we drew? Those can be our feet. There's a good oval there for your foot. And there's our person. Now you need to add some details. And I like to use colors to make my details. I'm going to start with a smile because I always like to be smiling. Makes people feel really good when you smile. And you can put your eyes on. Now your eyes, some people put their eyes right up at the top, but if you really look at your face in the mirror, you'll notice that your eyes are almost in the middle. And my eyes are a mix of green and brown, and I love mixing colors. 
I think that mixing colors is just a great thing to do because it makes it more interesting. So there are my eyes. You can put circles around your eyes if you want. I'm not going to. I'm going to put my glasses on. Now, if you don't wear glasses, of course, you wouldn't put your own glasses on. My glasses have black frames on them. Ooh, I should put on... Uh, I'm going to color my skin on. And this is another one where I mix colors a lot. Ooh, I should maybe draw my... Maybe I need... Oh, I forgot. almost forgot my nose. And some people might have to put their ears on. My ears don't show through my hair. I'll do that in a second. I'm and here I'm going to mix some colors for my skin. Because my skin has a little bit of... Oh, I really need to put my nose on. I like to mix kind of pink for my skin. Maybe a bit of yellow. And mix the colors to make it look like your color of skin. Now when I draw my nose, I almost forgot. I like to make it either with an L or a J. I think I'll use an L today. And there's my nose right there. Now, it looks like I'm bald. I better put my hair on. Now, my hair happens to be kind of, there's curls on it. And it's mostly brown. Now, my hairdresser told me, because she puts, she dyes my hair, and she make, makes it look like it has a different color on it. And she uses some a little bit of purple. And if I mix it in there, you can hardly see it. It's just you can just notice it just a little bit. Maybe there's a little black in there. Oh, I look quite happy. Now, the, the shirt that I'm wearing today has kind of got these um, red things in it, red kind of swirly things in it. And so I'm just gonna color some swirly things in there. And there's a little bit of brown in there. So I'll put a little bit of brown in there. Cut more swirly things, kind of like circles. See, it looks like that. I'll just mostly white. Um, well, I don't know what the background is. I'll just put those things on. And uh, oh, there's my belt. Now I already colored my belt in, but I think I'm going to make it a little bit darker. And I'm wearing my blue jeans today. Now I think that's but that's purple. I think I'll use blue. Ooh, you know, I could mix blue and purple together. Make it look indigo. So there are my pants. There are my pants are. Oh, you know what? I think I'm gonna put a little blue on because they don't aren't quite as dark as the jeans that I'm wearing today. I'll put a little bit of purple on there. a lot better. And then when I mix colors, I also notice that it kind of fills in those white light, white areas there. I'm going to put my socks on. I'm not wearing shoes right now. I'm just wearing socks. So I'm just going to draw my color my socks black because that's the color I'm wearing today. If you have some colored socks, that might be interesting for you to color those. And there's my person. Now I really hope that you'll send me a photograph of your person. And what I'll do with your photographs is I'll make them, I'll, I'll put them around a world that Buster and I are going to draw in our next video. We're going to make a world that, that people can hold hands around. So when we have our hands like that, there's another person right there. I actually drew another person earlier. And if I get enough people, then I can hold hands around the earth like that. So when you send me your photographs, you can send me a, a, an email to office at peacemakerstrust.ca. So it's office, O-F-F-I-C-E, at, that looks like a little A with a circle around it, P-E-A-C-E-M-A-K-E-R-S dot C-A. And in the subject line, put Patricia. So this is the subject. And that's my name there. P-A-T-R-I-C-I-A. I really hope that you send me your pictures and I'll talk to you soon. Have a peaceful day.